Hey guys, welcome to my apartment tour! Come on in! Yeah. Welcome everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, first of all. If you're new here, you're welcome. Click on the subscribe button. You're going to have a good time here. Um, if you're a regular, thank you so much for watching. I'm sure you've been waiting for this video. Um, I spoke about it last week when I talked about how to plan to furnish your home. Um, so here we are. Welcome to my humble abode. I'm going to take you through each and every single room. All right. Starting in the kitchen. Okay. This is where we are right now. Um, okay. So... The thinking about my kitchen is that as you can see it's like all white um and i just wanted to bring in just a little bit of color into it i didn't want to do too much i also didn't want to have like too many appliances on the countertops um so that's like the overall idea just pop of color um amongst the white i do like the white finish of the kitchen um it's got these granite tops which are also like a whitish color so in bringing in pieces into the kitchen i was looking at neutral tones i was already looking at like cream tones but as i said with a pop of color somewhere in some shape or form let's start with the island first so on the island just a simple little tray um in the middle with some of my favorite things so this is such a great <laughs> interior decorating idea um, and yes, every single cork in here, I've had the drink. I promise. I did. Whether it was at a restaurant and I asked for the corks, <laughs> or whether it was here in my house, but every single cork here is a drink that I've had. And some of them are really special because, um, for example, this one is written PMP, and it's when I got my PMP certification, I popped a bottle and I would write down like that particular memory. There's some for like my birthday. So I would write down if there's a memory on that specific cork. It's not every single one of them that has a memory, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. It's not every single one, but um, the ones that do have memories are in here. So this is actually a special little piece, but it was also just really great to um, have it as like a decor um, for the island flowers let us talk about flowers this is standard procedure in my house i am not kidding like every single two weeks i refresh mm -hmm. flowers in my home um my favorites i have only three favorites i like roses in any color um i love saint joseph's lilies and then i also love sunflowers so those are the three types of flowers and i would basically just interchange them as i feel like it so another special thing that is here on the island for me is this little book um this book is by uh stormy or martian it's called praying the bible into your life so it basically goes through the whole bible from genesis to revelation it gives you like certain scriptures and it's got like a little prayer at the end and i just i've literally opened the one that says god can do anything that's really just special to me and i do like it as a piece that somebody can come into the house and they can see already that this is what this girl is about Y'all know I'm a Jesus girl. Another thing that you'll notice actually in the, t in the entire house is that I really love good smell uh, in the home. So you'll probably find about like four diffusers in this house or more. Um, so I do have a diffuser here on the countertop and then I also have a scented candle. Guys, my candles, I can tell you now, load shading candles, that's it. <laughs> they are load shading candles sometimes they're not even looking really cute but it's really just for light but they always have to smell good so yeah so in terms of how much things cost basically for this piece that is on the island this tray is from poetry it is about like 500 grand i believe um and in glass vases you can practically find it anywhere from checkers to pick and pay hyper to the home stores, Mr. Price Home, H&M Home, Zara Home. You can probably find glass vases practically anywhere, even flower shops. Um, and then in terms of the diffusers, I buy my diffusers from usually two places, Woolworths um, or Poetry. Um, and then my candles are usually also from Woolworths or Poetry. <laughs> Those are like the top two stores where I get like my candles and my diffusers um yeah so that is the island piece moving on to the bar stools so i spent 
a really long time trying to find bar stools it oh my gosh i think this was one of the most difficult tasks honestly um i had like a store in my mind i'd seen it on the internet but i hadn't seen the actual chair um it was from furniture spot i loved those chairs so much i'm gonna actually just put it up here on the screen for you to see these are the chairs that i liked and i like them in turquoise um but honestly they were very expensive i didn't think they were worth it they were literally three thousand five hundred rand each for one chair and i didn't think that was worth it to get to be honest maybe in my big big house um, i'll get those chairs but these ones were my alternative i went to at home um i looked at a couple of chairs i sat on each chair so i basically did a whole thing guys bar stools i think were one of the hardest decisions for this home so essentially i got these ones they are called the stanley bar stool um and they basically go for about 2500 rand each so it's about a thousand rands less per chair um but guys bar stools are that expensive so <laughs> well unless you decide to go to like a cheaper store they are cheaper stores mr price home can have cheaper ones uh, there are loads on take a lot i went through pages and pages and pages on take a lot looking at bar stools and what's nice about take a lot is that they sell them in doubles so they don't sell per chair they give you a price for both chairs so they sell a lot of sets so if you're interested in that in, in a cheaper cost for a bar stool then you can definitely go to um take a lot but yeah i got mine from at home all right moving to the side of the kitchen um just an fyi i brought my macbook here because i actually wanted to give like accurate pricing for everything that like i purchased um so i really did not want a lot of clutter in the section yeah it's it's not my vibe it, that can happen when there's children you know when there's children there's bottles everywhere and there's, there's a mess but for now like i really like simplistic it's not minimalistic i really don't think it is some people literally just have like a little plant over there and maybe like a coffee machine and that's all you see um but for me i put things that for me would be um in easy access when i'm cooking um this air fryer is really big <laughs> And I actually didn't have space for it anywhere else. So this was actually a gift from my previous employer for my birthday. Um, yeah, they bought me my first air fryer. I haven't replaced it yet. I do actually want to replace it. I don't like the color. Um, I don't think it actually fits with what's happening here on the countertop. So I, this is one of the items that I know for a fact that I will be replacing. Um, hopefully within the next year. I love this little corner. Um, as I said, I like to access like things easily when I'm cooking. So my cooking, these are all my cooking spatulas. So it doesn't matter if I'm making a stew, making rice, frying eggs. I basically use these spatulas. Um, and then the, um, what is it? A crock pot. I don't know what they call this thing. Um, I like this from Le Creuset. Fun fact about me, I don't have any Le Creuset pots at all. I actually love their accessories. Like... The accessories for me are just, they're pretty, I love the colors, and I spoke about a pop of color in the kitchen. Um, not only is it there when you buy flowers, but you know, these Le Creuset colorful um, accessories for me are what bring in the color in my kitchen. I've got the salt and pepper um, grinders, and then I've got the oil and vinegar decanters um, on this uh, little tray over here in the corner. I also have some recipe books at the back there. I hardly use them. <laughs> There's like all sorts for baking, for cooking chicken, beef, whatever. I have a, a whole lot of um, cookbooks there at the back, but I actually hardly use them. I did use them a lot during COVID because that was my cooking era. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't used them since that time. Um, and then I've got the usual decanters, salt, not salt. Did I just say salt? <laughs> Tea, coffee, sugar. Tea, coffee, sugar. Yes, tea, coffee, sugar, decanters. These I got from Mr. Price. I'm going to try and find the price here. Oh, I don't know how much these are. They were a gift. So when I was moving into this house, my ex-colleague, a friend of mine, um, he actually gave me, gifted me with a voucher. I went to Mr. Price and I literally just bought them on the voucher. I didn't really pay attention to the price. Um, but these are from um, Mr. Price, all three of them. Um then these were a gift the kettle and the toaster they were a gift from my mom when i moved in um yeah they matching they both from swan i haven't thought about getting smeg i don't think i'm a fan yeah 
this for me is really just to boil water and can i tell you something i don't even eat bread <laughs> i don't even eat bread so this toaster is for decor okay um and then there's like this um wine rack which i've had forever and i had it's empty right now simply because i have a bar so i actually don't need it but it's still sitting there i actually don't even know what to do with it so it literally stays here empty and then i have the the other appliances i have a washing machine i bought a dishwasher this year guys please do yourself a favor in your life hmm? do yourself a favor when your hands and your nails you know they lost they look soft because you're not washing dishes anymore like this is a lifesaver a time saver i don't even know how to describe it both of them are samsung a lot of the appliances in this house are samsung my fridge is also a samsung my tv is a samsung guys i'm a samsung fan i'm a samsung fan i don't have anything lg in this house or any other brand i'm a samsung fan so when i moved into this place for a couple of months I did not have a rug, but I actually found that, especially when I'm cooking and just moving around the kitchen and also just for aesthetics, it would look nice. Um, I shopped around for it. I had already bought the other rugs in the house. So I just decided to go to the same place. Um, the rugs are all from RCNE rugs. RCNE is at Danefront Square in four ways. Um, so that's where I got um most of the rugs in this house except for the one in the office i think it was so the runners essentially are about like 500 bucks at that store um yeah i i definitely did not pay more than more than a thousand rands for this particular rug but it's pretty i like the pattern i like that it brings this like different kind of texture to your eyes when you look at it so yeah All right, moving on to the living room this is also this is one of my favorite rooms um to furnish um i think this the kitchen and the office are like my faves in the home um so yeah starting with the television this is a 65 inch samsung <laughs> television um i think the tv was about fifteen thousand rands uh i bought it from hi-fi corporation it's a qled um i just really like it this is like a an ambient mode it's called ambient mode on the tv where you can just leave it in a picture um and you can just leave it like this stays on like this um and then what i'm sitting on is the tv stand so the tv stand i mentioned in my previous video i had a whole tv stand drama where i bought from one place and then they didn't deliver for a long time and then i ended up buying a second tv stand and then that other one is now with my mom and then i decided to keep the white one so this one is from langton designs you can find them on instagram they're also on facebook um it's really a small business a guy who started um, making furniture they have a showroom in johannesburg cbd in ct deep so if you want to see some of the products that they have like live you can actually go there if you're based in joburg so this one this tv stand was 4750 um I don't regret it at all it's beautiful i keep like certain things in your blankets and other little amenities in these little drawers and then in terms of decor just standard little decor pieces you know that you can find at mr price home those are both from mr price home um this is also from mr price home diffusers as per usual as i said sent in the home priority books you can get coffee table books um that is also one of the things that was very difficult for me to find very difficult for me to find coffee table books i think you can find them from loads of living i struggled to find them at, at home they're not there at mr price i struggled to find coffee table books let me tell you guys a lot of the books that are here or international i had to get them on amazon amazon has coffee table books and because i traveled to the u.s i was able to actually buy them while i was there and bring them back so yeah finding coffee table books is hard um then there's that little piece over there i think you guys will remember that from a previous vlog i traveled to kenya last year and there was a one of the partners that um had come who actually gifted me with that that is from senegal um i don't know what it actually is <laughs> so i just decided to put it there <laughs> but yeah i think it's pretty 
Um, the plant that you see there in the corner that is growing ferociously is from Woolworths. It was very small. It is now, I don't know what's happening with it. It feels like a monstera, but that's the, not the name of the plant. Um, but I just chose it and I didn't know what was, what was going to happen. So I don't know whether I'm still going to keep it there. It feels like it's going to grow to the point where it's closing off the door. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it there. But I love it. It's beautiful and it's growing beautifully. Moving on to the coffee table. Um, so I had seen this design on Pinterest. I actually had looked up on Pinterest like coffee table like designs or decor. Um, people do it differently. Um, some people don't have anything on the coffee table at all. Um, some people just have a vase, some people just have books. So my coffee table essentially, I have this vase which is from Corey Croft. Um, guys, I think, do you know what? I'm gonna put the prices on the screen. Okay, I'm gonna put the prices on the screen. But the vase is from Corey Croft. These little pampas grass thingies, again, I bought them on Amazon while I was in the US and I actually brought them back. Um, you'll also see them in my bedroom. They gave me quite a lot, so I actually had to split them. So this is like one half of it. Um, and then I've got a candle. This candle is from at home. I said I bought my candles from um, Woolworths and from Poetry, but I bought a candle from at home. It was on sale. It smells really nice, so I actually got it. And then I've got this wick clipper for the candles um, that sits here on the coffee table, my remote. And also these marble looking coasters from Mr. Price. Um, as I said, coffee table book, difficult to find in South Africa. Maybe there's a company that makes them on Instagram. Please do your research before you order something on Amazon. The big, big drum. All right. <laughs> so I had been eyeing this drum coffee table, guys, since before I bought my home. <laughs> That's how much I love this drum coffee table. For the longest time, every time I would go to Corey Craft, I'd see this drum and I'd be like, I'm getting this drum, I'm getting this drum. So I have the drum. It's called the Taj Drum Coffee Table. It's also from Corey Craft. It is 4,999 Rand. Then going to the rug that I'm standing on at the moment, RCNE Danefern Four Ways. Mm -hmm. Woo! Okay, moving on to the couch, right? Hey, this is another one that I had been eyeing for a very, very long time. So this couch is called the Coda Couch, also from Corey Craft. I had been eyeing it for such a long time that when I actually went to the store, they no longer sold it. <laughs> and I was just like, what the heck? And I was like, you're making this couch for me. You call the warehouse, you call the factory. I don't know who you need to call, but I want this couch and I want to, the, the L-shaped couch, which is basically called like either left-facing or right facing um, L shaped couch. Um, I don't remember the the name of the material that is on this couch, but if I do find out what it is, I can actually check it on my invoice. Um, I'll put it up here on the screen. This couch was about 22,000 rands. It's also from Corey Croft. So this throw essentially I got from at home. Um, no, I'm lying. So this throw that is on the couch, I got from Corey Croft. I will mention the price. The price will be on the screen. And then all the cushions that you see on this couch. Mr. Price, except for the cream ones. So the cream ones are both from Corey Craft, but everything else is from Mr. Price. And they're all duck feather. Guys, if you want to do the karate chop, what is the karate chop? This. If you want to be able to do a karate chop on a cushion, you need to buy duck feather cushions. You can't buy the other standard cushions. They are not going to do a karate chop for you. Okay? That's just an inside tip um, for scatter cushions. And this is one thing that I hate in the house, just by the way. The but paintings I'm, are gorgeous. I hate this. And they that look looks like, like a snake. That's a, that's a, that's a, Where? There. Doesn't it look like a python to you? It's just by the python's no. head. No. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the two paintings here. So when I came to view this apartment before I bought it, they obviously had like furnished it to make it look pretty, you know, so that it's more appealing for people to buy. But they had these beautiful, long, like three panels of paintings. And I love that idea. Um, I had been trying to find a place that would actually do it. That is not too expensive. <laughs> 
oh guys i know yes in finishing a home like you will do so much research but i was struggling to find a place like that um so i ended up choosing having like a double panel instead of like a triple panel i really would have loved a triple panel um for paintings all the paintings in the house are from pixelot so pixelot.co.za usually they have free delivery on all their paintings i think if you buy something that is over 750 rand or 500 rand um but yeah both of these um i had to literally measure to see how far they would um go in terms of the wall space and not leaving too much white space um so i'll put the price on the screen for the actual paintings i don't like the paintings anymore um <laughs> my camera woman is like rolling her eyes but i don't like the paintings anymore the only re like i have two reasons it looks like a snake if you look carefully mm -hmm. but <laughs> another reason is that they dark so i feel like they make the room feel a little bit dark um i think i want to get like abstract paintings but ones that are like they have a pure white background but with like splashes of color on it so yeah i'm looking more for that now that i can see the painting on the actual wall i changed my mind about it so this is something that's going to be replaced in the house one of my favorite spots in the house <laughs> All right, so there was something that I had written down on my phone um, when I knew that I was getting this place and I was going to move in. I had written down what um, dreams I have for this house. And one of those was I really wanted a place for my friends to come um, and just enjoy themselves. I do love to entertain. I love cooking for people. I like entertaining people. So I got a bar. Okay. Um, I'm a person that likes alcohol, guys. <laughs> What can I say? I do love to have an occasional drink, especially on a weekend um, or even during the week just to unwind, have like a glass of like wine. Um, so basically the bar comp comprises of like hot liquor at the top and there's like wine and like MCC or champagne at the bottom. Um, a lot of the hot liquor here, I do not even drink. Like I'm not a whiskey drinker at all. I don't drink the Cavassia and the Hennessy you'll see that the decanter is even full my dear because i don't drink cognac i really don't but it's for people who come to visit um if that is their taste then they have the selection of the drink so i have whiskey i have gin i will always have like vodka for shots like a jaeger hi <laughs> i've got a, like some amarula which is almost finished this literally it's other people drinking it like i i hardly take this alcohol at all um what i do drink honey like can you see those tequila it's because i make margaritas in this house a lot <laughs> oh another cute thing that i need to show you these two cute little shop glasses I got them when I was in Mauritius. If you see, they've got like Mauritius and the beach and dolphins and whatever on them. It's so, so cute. Oh, I absolutely love them. So I got two shot glasses um, from Mauritius as a little souvenir. So I do keep them here on my bar. Um, at the bottom, I have uh, red wine, obviously, because you keep white wine in the fridge, please. Please, okay? So yeah, I've got some red wine and I'll keep my MCC here. And if I'm going to drink it, then I chill it before I actually take it. Um, I have like a couple of glasses in here, a little decor piece. And I've got this cute little drum that I bought when I was in Kenya. So little souvenirs that you keep in the house make your home personal. You know, it, it puts in your little experience. This is my favorite thing for my margaritas cocktail shaker. Come on. And that's the bar. Um, so this is the balcony um, right outside the living room. There isn't much in here. I have never had plans to furnish it. Yeah, never really had plans to furnish it. Um, also because throughout some time of living here, I've actually seen that the rain does come in when it rains really hard. Um, even like when I've had laundry here and then it's rained, it's literally rained on my laundry. So I don't really have plans to furnish the balcony. Um, what I have here is just my laundry hanging thing. I've got my mops and my brooms in here because I don't want to keep them in the house. And then I have my Weber Bry, which I have used before. 
um, but yeah this is for if we decide to have a bride but it's really pretty I'm gonna take the covering off this is just to protect it and keep it all nice but yeah it's a I feel like it's top of the range don't you think <laughs> top of the range Weber bride it's really really stunning so we're about to go into the main bedroom are you coming okay. all right so this is where the queen sleeps <laughs> so this bedroom guys is really special to me because i actually remember a time where there was nothing in this room N like not anything in this room and i literally had my mattress from my bed and i was literally sleeping on the mattress on the floor like there wasn't even a base of the bed nothing and i remember my friend being here we were on the base of the bed playing monopoly together so now when i see this room like this it's it's like it's a huge transformation <laughs> in this bedroom which is amazing um starting with the bed the bed is from cielo um i bought a sleigh bed which basically is a headboard that comes with a base as well um i loved the the I don't even know what they call this. I don't know. It's called the buttoning detail, but I just loved this. Again, guys, these are tough decisions because the color, they had so many colors in terms of fabric that you could have. They also had a velvet option. And then I decided just to go with the fabric um, and with a gray color because I will put like a picture of what my curtains used to be. My curtains used to be gray. I think I showed this in my previous video, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I'll show it again. They used to be gray, a lighter gray. So they kind of sort of match the headboard. Um, what has changed in this bedroom is that I used to have crisp white linen. <laughs> and I don't know, like in this age, I don't know whether I just decided, you know, I just bring in a little bit of color. I went for the extreme a whole mustard yellow honey <laughs> a whole mustard yellow all the linen in this house is from volpies all of it and it's always egyptian cotton linen i just prefer to sleep in that so that's where you can find the linen from i'll also like try and find the prices and just put them on here um the difficulty about putting pricing from volpies is that when i actually go there sometimes i usually always find a sale so it's not really the original price um but i can tell you now that the egyptian cotton goes for the duvet set which is essentially the duvet cover as well as the two pillowcases those go for 1500 rands um for the egyptian cotton 300 thread count i'm not talking about the cotton there is a higher range which is called premium cotton that one is 2100 rand so it's about 500 rand 600 rand more um so yeah all the pillows again Volpies. I have bought um, pillows from Continental Linen before, uh, the hotel um, standard pillows, because every time I would travel, I would always like sleep on these great pillows at hotels and I didn't understand why I couldn't find them. And then they told me go to Continental Linen. So um, the pillows at the bottom of here, and I'm just going to open to show you the white um, pillowcase cover is usually what I sleep on, not the actual color um pillowcases i usually sleep on the white and these are hotel standard pillows these ones however are luxury microfiber you can find these at mr price home you can find these at sheet street you can find these at volpe's you can find these probably at Woolworths. so yeah um that is the linen essentially the mattress for this bedroom as well as the guest bedroom are both from dialer bed um and then these cushions over here these ones are from mr price home um i don't usually find nice scatter cushions like but these were so nice i really love this brown detailing um on the cushions and then this is also um just a decorative pillow that's what they call it a decorative pillow this pillow also from mr price home so that is the bed let me tell you something my darling about pedestals another difficult thing another difficult choice um this sort of design is a little bit outdated in terms of interior design you know the whole glass feature and mirror finish and all of that but i just really liked it like i struggled to find first of all pedestals that were the right size for this room so that i could still be able to you know open up the curtains etc 
um i i really really struggled um so these ones i was literally looking at the measurements but i was also looking at is it pretty and i think it is you know so on both sides i have the same um pedestal which is a mirror finish i got these from snatcher the price is on the screen um and then the lampshades so the lampshades to be honest i was just looking for this neutral tone and i liked a couple from leroy merlin but i didn't buy them so i ended up buying this on take a lot when it arrived one of the lampshades was broken and off <laughs> sent it back returned it they sent me a new one um i am planning on replacing this shade so i'm going to keep the lamp stand but i am going to replace the shade um i feel like i don't know i just want something new i might put it back for another season you know i'm not definitely not gonna give it away i think it gives this weird holiday vibe i don't know why it, it gives like this could be like at a hotel by the beach kind of lampshade so yeah that's why i really like it i have a couple of pieces here on the pedestal personal items um my jewelry um candle again light in the room and then i've got my bible um right next to me fam you know when you wake up in the middle of the night from a bad dream always good to have a bible next to you and on this side again still looking for that symmetrical kind of feel um i know some people like asymmetrical they wouldn't even have a lampshade here they'd have something else um or they'd have like a another you know long floor lamp whatever but i like the symmetrical feel uh, which has the same lampshade i talked about the pampas grass in the living room here's the other half <laughs> of the pampas grass it's in this little vase that i got from sheet street um yeah sheet street has got quite um affordable deco pieces i don't think i bought this for more than 200 rand i've got more jewelry here more earrings um i've got a little hand cream which i definitely definitely use um and then i've got again another candle this one is from at home for lights during load shedding but also for the smell um and yes the same pedestal from snatcher okay so what do i see when i am in bed this essentially <laughs> so yeah i definitely wanted a dresser for my bedroom in all the places that i've ever stayed in um this is when i was like still renting and i hadn't bought a place yet i never had drawers for my underwear ever like my underwear would just be randomly sitting inside of the wardrobe somewhere i even remember having like this compartment that i had to buy um from like take a lot i even forgot where i bought it from um and i literally had to slot in like all my bras in there no guys this time i was like nimdala i'm an adult i'm getting a dresser so essentially this is my dresser it is quite big i did measure it out when i ordered it i ordered it from the exact same place where i bought my tv stand from langton designs yet again um i'll put the price on the screen <laughs> Um, and then on top of the dresser, to be honest, I never actually knew how to design this. I looked on Pinterest. It looked like people's design looked very busy for me. They had even another lampshade here and books and it just felt, just felt like a bit too much. So for me, I just put like my shades. I do love wearing sunglasses when I'm out. Um, none of these are designer, just by the way. <laughs> but this is like the shades that i've had like over a period of time a lot of them are from um yde mr price she in yeah so i've got quite a shade a, a lot of shades happening here i love to wear rings i do want a different way to display them but they're on this little hand <laughs> which i actually got from sheet street believe it or not um i'll try to put the price up if, if i can find it um but yeah so i have like my rings that i usually wear um, and accessorize with um i am a ring earring and neck piece kind of girl i don't wear bangles the only watch i wear is my apple watch so yeah these are basically like the accessories that i usually wear um in this little beautiful beaded small little jewelry <laughs> i don't know what is this called it's like a what is it a trinket box it's a trinket box a trick okay it's a trinket box 
there are stud earrings in here because i feel like if i put them anywhere else i'm actually going to lose them <laughs> so a lot of the the, the um, stud earrings that i bought on shein or wherever i put them in this little thing i bought this thing in kenya when we went to the market um and then i have like my very very minimal perfume collection <laughs> this is something i definitely want to grow i actually would like to not have the sunglasses but to actually have two stands of perfumes literally and then separate them by designer and dupe <laughs> i would love to do that but yeah this is like a combination of a whole bunch of things there's zara there's arabic perfumes there's designer perfumes there's dior in here some armani um i've got a ysl i've got carolina herrera um there's a few that i still want to get woody and delma from the ox store my god oh i can't wait until i have that perfume here <laughs> oh my goodness i also want elisab and narciso rodriguez still gonna get all of those perfumes so it's a growing collection essentially and then the last piece that is in this main bedroom is this decorative pampas grass in a vase this used to be in the living room uh where the plant is right now the ferociously growing plant so I used to have that there. I moved it here. I feel like it fits in. The vase is from Mr. Price Home. The Pampas Grass is from Take A Lot. And I'll put the prices on the screen. Um, moving on to the bathroom. The bathroom is a his and hers. This is the main bathroom. Both the bathrooms are full bathrooms with a bath and a shower. Um, but yeah, this is essentially where I clean myself up. Love doing skincare routines. So what you'll always find on top of my sink is all my skincare products, my serums, my washes, my toners, moisturizer, sunscreen, all of that stuff is here. Toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, hand wash, hand cream. That's the stuff that's always here on the countertop. So this is the guest bathroom. Um, as I said, when we were in the main um, bathroom, both of them have a bath and a shower. This one has a single sink. I've got the hand wash, hand cream hand towel i even have toothpaste i do have toothbrushes in case somebody sleeps over unexpectedly in the shower there's also body wash there's all kinds of things that they would need i've got extra towels down here my laundry stuff and my gym stuff is all here <laughs> um but yeah like i've got all the amenities in case i do have guests that um happen to sleep over um and i've had that a lot. i think in this house since I moved in and I've only been here for two years, I think I have had about seven guests sleep over, if not more. Yeah, but I think I've had like seven guests sleep over. So that I, again, hosting people, having people in my home is some, it's like one of my favorite things. Still being a single girl, that is like one thing that I make sure that I do have is just to fill my home with love. So this is especially for them. So, one of the special rooms in the house is the guest bedroom. Um, this room is like not a lot happening in here. It's very minimal. Um, again, the bed, Cielo. I went right back. <laughs> After buying my main bedroom headboard and base, I went right back and bought another one. This time it has a different design. Don't you just love these gold studs? Oh my gosh, they are amazing. Um, I just also love how plush and thick this is. Um, this bed, again, dial bed, the linen in the whole house, Volpe's. Um, the scatter cushions on this bed are from Mr. Price Home. Um, these, I don't know what this color is, looks like a, it's not a beige, it's a tan, you know, the tan pillow and the white pillow from Mr. Price Home. Um, the side pedestals, again, an asymmetrical feel. Even when I had the paintings put up, again, all the paintings in the house from Pixel Arts. Um, I'll try to put the prices of these um, paintings up as well. Um, but yeah, symmetrical lampshades. These little lampshades are from Mr. Price Home. As you can see, everything is like a little bit more muted than the master bedroom. Master bedroom is for the queen, you know? So, <laughs> so everything that's in here, even though it's really beautiful, it's not like as, you know, extravagant as the other bedroom. So these are from Mr. Price Home. I literally have like diffused, two diffusers two diffusers in this room um and then i have on this side a vase this is a faux plant from cory craft this is from sheet street um the pedestals are from superbalist can 
can I just say I, I assembled these pedestals myself. I repeat, I assembled these pedestals myself. <laughs> the rug is from RCNE, Dane Front Square. I've mentioned that before. Um, on the other side, I have this painting, guys. I'm gonna show you. Oh my gosh. So my friend had a paint and sip at her house for her birthday. I painted this. This is my painting. So Oh, okay, look like you don't believe me. Oh, anyway, it's amazing. I've, I've got the LM here, okay? To prove that it's me. <laughs> yeah. And on this side, I have a desk here. So I think when somebody walks in, they probably think like it's an office desk or something like that. It can be used as that maybe for a guest who's visiting and needs a place to work. Um, so it can be used for that. But I actually bought it for makeup. So I do my makeup in this room. I don't do it in my bathroom. I don't do it in my bedroom. I do it in here. Um, I basically have all of my products in here. Like my foundations are in here. Um, in this little drawer, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. I've got all my palettes, um, my uh, liners. I've got oh, powders, contouring. All of that stuff is basically in this drawer. Um, and then on this side, I have like a towel, which I basically put over. Yeah, and some other stuff. My makeup brushes are right on top. So I can access them. I got a whole bunch of them. Um, but yeah, this is my makeup desk. Um, what's missing actually here that I wanted to put, but I kept changing my mind about it. Because I feel like maybe at some point I want to remove it. Is to literally have a mirror stuck up here with those uh, makeup lights. Um, I'm still thinking about that. I don't know whether I want to do that. Because I feel like that's like a hectic feature. Um, another thing that's actually in this room is a mirror. As you can see. So that someone is able to see themselves after they've gotten dressed. Um, I didn't know where else to put it. I didn't want to put it here on the wall. So I just put it at the back of the door. And that's the guest bedroom. Right. So I said my top three rooms in this house are my master bedroom, my living room. This is the other room. So I love my office. Come in. Come closer. Come, come, come. Oh, guys, this was the first room I actually really furnished because I needed to work. <laughs> I needed to work, so this was the first room I furnished. I have an Instagram reel on this office. Like, that's how much I really love it. Um, whoa, I don't even know where to start. Let me start with the shelves. So, this shelf was in my previous place. I bought it from Deco Fern. Um, I'll try to find the price on and put it up here on the screen. So, yeah, I bought it from Deco Fern. I only had one. When I moved in here, in my mind, I had already pictured having double, literally. So I literally went and I found it <laughs> again from Deco Fern. They came, they assembled it, and then they put it in the room, and I just loved it. I'm still deciding on whether to change the color. So I don't know whether I would paint it white. Um, that was something that was in my head. And maybe it's because everything else is white, as you can see, the chair is white, the table is white. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still thinking about it, but for now, I'm still happy with the brown. There's some beautiful memories on this shelf that I have. For example, I have a couple of frames um, for my 30th birthday. I loved this photo shoot. It's actually the first and only photo shoot I've ever really done. Um, but yeah, I really love those photos. Um, I have this amazing frame, guys. <laughs> so this frame, first of all, my mother bought it. And this is a special memory for me because it's got a Casa Hymnal. I think it's hymn number 114 in the Casa Hymnal book. Um, it's either, wait, is it a 114 or 105? Might be. I don't know which one it is. But um, my mom went to Portugal and she bought me this frame. And because this Casa Hymnal comes from my very first ever church growing up, which my mother still goes to. So this is like basically home church and my mom both at the same time, which is really special for me. And then um, I have my baptismal my baptismal certificate ah, this is also special for me this is another thing that makes this whole place special i actually got baptized in this complex at the pool um by my friend my friend laura actually baptized me so that that's something that's really special for me so yeah she made me a little certificate which is really amazing um and then something i've had on the shelf for a long long time even at my previous place 
I had it in the single shelf, um, is this Count Your Blessings jar. I haven't used it this year. As you can see, it's empty. So I have, <laughs> I have all the stuff that has happened this year that I'm grateful for on my actual phone in my notes. But this I used to use and write down notes of every good thing that happened in the year. And then I would open it on New Year's Eve and read all of it. So this is the Count Your Blessings jar and what I would use it for. So yeah, this is a suggestion. If you like something like that, have a Count Your Blessings jar. So the rug in this room is from Superbalist. It's the black and white rug. Um, this rug keeps coming back on Superbalist. So I'm going to put it on if I can find it. The chair is from Take A Lot. I'll also try and put the price. Guys, I didn't know office chairs were so expensive. This chair was like three grand or something. But I'll put the price on, on the screen. But yay, I didn't know that chairs were so expensive. But yeah. Oof. The table. So the desk is from Office an office furniture um it's a company that sells basically office desks for like corporate companies but then it also does sell home office desks um and i got it from there this is called the lucia desk um i'll put the price on it was about like four thousand something for this desk so it was a little bit expensive but it's literally so durable it's like really great quality i really love it um i love that it's not a closed off desk so you can't like see people's legs so it's like open with the steel legs it's it's really beautiful i really love it but so these are players wood white uh snow white blinds um so i bought the blinds um in two different places i have blinds in the office and i have blinds in the kitchen the first blinds i bought were in the kitchen and i bought them from a place um close to me it's like a private company they do flooring they do blinds as well i thought they were very expensive um <laughs> i paid 1750 for them because the size was like small for the window guys when i was looking for blinds for the office i was like i can't because i'm gonna pay over 3000 rands i was like nope i'm not willing to pay the price guess what i found a website you just put in the measurements guys you choose the blinds that you want you choose the color that it is in and they literally del they deliver them within like three days i was shocked and the quality and how great it is um these ones were i think in the 2000s i'm gonna put the price on the screen but for me worth every cent and then the finale the finale guys oh, <laughs> oh my god oh my god so i have this beautiful beautiful fit suck from Fetzak <laughs> in Cape Town. Um, guys, this Fetzak, the size that it is, this is a medium size, there's a bigger one, and people use it in their living rooms. This Fetzak, as I said, is the medium size. You can get it in this this fabric. There's the velvet, there's the corduroy um, fabric. So they've got different materials for the Fetzak. But this Fetzak, I got it on sale, guys. You will not believe, when I finally was like ready to buy it, and I went into the site. Usually it's about three and a half for this fed sack size. I bought it for like 2.7. I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. Like, I don't even know where the sale came from, but I bought at the right time. So wait for a sale. But this is fabulous. When I have like late meetings um, with, you know, the US. Guys, I'm here. I am here. You can even sleep on it, take a nap on it during the day in between meetings. It is amazing. Worth the purchase, worth the money. I'll probably be like taking my like little baby when I have children and just letting them nap on there. <laughs> so guys, that is my amazing, beautiful apartment. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope if you have questions, please put them in the comments. Please like this video if you enjoyed it i really hope you purchase some of the things that are in here it's a really beautiful space um but as i said in my previous video when you're planning dream about your place do a mood board yeah and have fun with it i think that's the biggest thing i had fun decorating this place and i look forward to even making changes to it that's the fun process about interior decorating is that you can always as i said change your mind um so yeah hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video